Whether you're coming from a boat or a stand, welcome back to the lodge with your hosts, Matthew Dredska. Wait, no, 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 that's not what I meant. No, no, <laughs> come on, no. <laughs> Dang. Uh, Patrick Mudge. I really don't know what to say that's funny because I'm not a very funny person. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> and Nick Condor. There's a difference between picking and itching. <laughs> Back to the Lodge is brought to you by Icy Tech USA. Hey, let's just be honest. No one can ever completely beat a mature whitetail census. But if you play your cards right, you can fool them. Now, for all the work you put in to getting this close, make sure the camo you choose is up to the task. Mossy Oak, made for moments like this. IC Tech now has tumblers and apparel. Check out ictech.com or visit the Hardware House in Huntingdon, Bennett's Hardware of McKenzie, or Rev Power Sports in Jackson to find all your IC Tech coolers and accessories. IC Tech, the classic roto molded cooler that started an entire industry. 100% veteran owned and operated. IC Tech USA. Get up. This moment was brought to you by Higdon Outdoors, a leader in the waterfowl industry for over 25 years. Check us out at HigdonOutdoors.com. Higdon Outdoors has been helping waterfowl hunters make the most of their time in the field for over 25 years. We are a family-owned company and we're proud to serve duck and goose hunters just like you. We make high-quality, innovative decoys and hunting products that you can afford, helping you focus on what's really important. Check us out at HigdonOutdoors.com. Innovation. Quality. Customer service. That's Higdon Outdoors. Get real. Get Higdon. Live from West Tennessee in the 6 o'clock hour, I'm Patrick. I'm Matt. I'm Nick. And we are back to the lodge. We're here. It's uh, New Year's. Yeah. It's New Year's tomorrow, man. New Thank Year's Eve. God. I know. You got any big plans, Nick? Yeah. You're the music guy, so. Yeah, yeah. What Naturally. Do it. What you got going on? Well, uh, I'm going to go run sound for a band that I run sound for. And it's going to be a pretty awesome night. Awesome. How about you, big man? I'm actually, I don't think I'm doing much. Uh, I think I'm going to hang out with a couple buddies. We, uh. Well, one of them in particular, Dee Dee's every every New Year's Eve, and he doesn't drink on on New Year's, and I'll probably go hang out over at his house. And sounds like my kind of guy. Keep, if people need rides, then yeah, they get all of us. That's cool. And you, uh, but you just came back from a busy weekend, didn't you? Golly. Yeah, busy five days up in Wisconsin. Came back you know, almost six hundred mile, well, five fifty mile trip yesterday, and definitely wore out today. Right on. And having to get back into the swing of working again for a day and a half before, you know, before we gotta sort of shut down again for the New Year's. Yeah. So, I'm just glad to get 2020 behind us. Did you do some ice fishing? Yeah. Yeah. Not a whole lot, but uh, we fished. I don't know, four hours. Um, I'm trying to think what day that was. Monday morning. Um, pulled up and my cousin Sammy was pulling a 36 inch northern out of the hole. And then as we were releasing that fish, I, I drug another pike through the hole and pretty pretty quick, you know, fishing for the first 30 minutes I was there and then nothing the rest of the day. We were using tip-ups. I don't 
you know, ice fishing up in Wisconsin, there's this rig called a tip up and it's got a little spool on the bottom of it. As the fish pulls the spool, it sort of swings this T post up on top, which allows a flag to come up. And basically the fish is just free running with, well, we had shiners mm-hmm. and free running with the shiner. And you got to go and you pick this wooden tip up out of the, out of the hole. And then you got to hand fish them nice. up through the hole. So nice. it's fun. It's fun. Guess at the hook with your hand and, pull them in and yeah good sounds like a good time well if you're just tuning in you, uh on facebook you can watch us live every wednesday night the six o'clock hour every wednesday. we've been doing this for a while now 20 some weeks in a row already yeah because yeah. week 26 is in two weeks so this must be like week 24 you remember what uh yes I did. <laughs> if you're tuning on facebook uh you're obviously watching us live on facebook uh go ahead and follow us on back to the lodge and check us out on ic tech usa the original Rota Mold Cooler, also a.k.a. the OG Cooler. OG. And then you can also find us on Instagram at the hashtag Back to the Lodge on Instagram and follow our social antics there as well. Uh, but anyways, you know, people have been asking, you know, what what's the show about? Because there's some people that just picked it up as you, we, we talked about last week. Uh, we're now on iHeartMedia. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool, cool. I'm as excited. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so if you're just tuning in, you know, back to Lodge, it's a focus. It's a focus on the values of the outdoors, resiliency, and mindset um, in bringing several worlds together. And, you know, Matt and I are veterans. Nick is um, the sound engineer. Actually, we met Nick through the radio, and uh, yeah. Nick's been on this journey with us, also an outdoorsman and in the music space. So we talk about how the values of the outdoors highlights, you know, the value, value system of people that are coming out of the military as veterans, uh, even active duty. We've covered that too. Mm -hmm. We'll be doing another episode on that in the near future. Yep. Um, But also in the country music space, we've had country music artists, and not necessarily super specific to country music, but the music artists that share those values. Country music just happens to be close because we're near Nashville. Uh, So it works out really well. And we talk about everything from, you know, being outdoors, how that helps with stress, depression, overcoming you know obstacles and 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 things we've been through uh but also too you know talking about you know how it can help you find yourself find peace in your life and also kind of bring back the you know the old methods of putting food on your table right uh which has been quite uh annotated over the years but you know we 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 do get pretty we have a lot of fun we crack up quite a bit (laughs) um Sometimes Matt's clothes don't stay on the whole time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's happened. It's it happened. Uh, but also, too, you know, we we uh, we have some serious episodes. I think probably one of our most serious episodes, if you ever get a chance to check it out, is our 9-11 episode uh, yep. with uh, Tim Brown, former FDNY uh, firefighter. I believe he was a captain. Yep. And uh, in Tower 2 during 9-11, he coordinated some of the emergency efforts and was boots on the ground. Uh, probably one of the most powerful episodes we ever had, and still to date our number one downloaded yep. episode on all platforms, whether it's Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartMedia, Google Play, it, uh, all of them. I don't even can't even list them all out if I wanted to try. Um, so check that episode out. Uh, we've had some fun ones. We've had some uh, real powerful ones. We've had Gold Star families on uh, as we also talk about their values and, and with the outdoors and how that works. And if you don't know what a Gold Star parent is. That's a mother or father or stepmother or stepfather uh, that lost a son or daughter in combat. So, you know, bringing all those back together is, you know, why we do IC Tech here at IC Tech Studios um, and also to help build them uh, in their foundations so they can have grief counseling and uh, healing retreats. Um, Give them a little piece of their heart back, as Charlie Strange likes to say. Hmm. other than that, you know, it's it's kind of we're still in season two. We're twenty some weeks along, twenty three, twenty four. I don't know, something like that. Nick's waiting for twenty six, so yes, because he's no longer a greenhorn after the six month mark that we promised him, and we wouldn't pick up, <laughs> which we haven't really picked on you much lately. No, you haven't, but not on it. It's long overdue. Uh, you know that it doesn't have to be tonight. No, you're right because week twenty six is the grand finale of your greenhorn, and that will Wait be a minute, the whole on. episode. Oh, I've been like every one that I wanted to use over the last couple months. I've been just writing down. 
You know you're going to be putting on a chef's apron. It's going to be like 26. It's going to be like the roast of Nick. <sighs> so it's going to be a roast episode is Pretty what much. it's going to be. Yeah, we're going to have our friends back in the studio. Are you going to have like the, the throne for me to the, the roast? The throne of misery? <laughs> <laughs> It's a good possibility. <laughs> but across the nation, uh, deer season starting to wrap up if you're a whitetail hunter. Um, most places are in the last week to two weeks. Some places yep. have a late muzzleloader, even yep. up, up north um, that runs into mid-January. Uh, we've seen a lot of good things. Last week, our episode uh, was probably my most heated episode, uh, which got, <laughs> it got us into, you know, look, at the end of the day, we're trying to stop. The shaming in the industry and, and people that are uh, giving other folks a hard time for being in the outdoors. And it, it's got to stop. And God, I'm going to put my foot in my mouth right now. I just seen, and I'm not even going to say what it was, there's a project that's trying to reinitiate getting people back into the outdoors. Mm-hmm. Led by the same people that created the problem. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to call it out. Yep. It's not hard to find. If you're an outdoorsman and you're on social media, you've seen it. Um, it. It's the same folks who have pressured people to trophy hunt because, you know, shooting a small deer is just not acceptable anymore. Yeah. And uh, they're the same people trying to restore the outdoors. I hope their intentions are good. Uh, we even reached out wanting to collaborate with them um, and help them support that endeavor, but we were politely ignored. <laughs> so, look, that's fine. But at the end of the day, it's about getting people outdoors and not shaming people for their way of life uh, because this nation has definitely become a way of uh, crit- critique through caught social media and media. Uh, you know, my grandmother used to say, uh, an idiot with a microphone is just a louder idiot. And everybody has a different way of life. And, you know, I would say in the current events, and we're all dealing with it in different ways, you know, you've got COVID, you've got the vaccine. You've got people who are anti-COVID vaccine. You've got people who are for COVID vaccine. At the end of the day, choose what you want to choose. Mm. But the, this this animosity and this this bitching back and forth uh, is destructive. It's it's doing absolutely nothing constructive. And I've I think out of like the thousands of things I've seen on it, thousands of people, I've literally only heard like one person actually use true facts. And data, and even though I didn't agree with it, it was it was true facts and data. Um, so you know, it's what's a good word for it? It's the we call them the Facebook lawyers, but now they're Facebook medical professionals and sure. virologists. Yeah, and <laughs> keyboard <laughs> warriors. Keyboard warriors. Yeah. Um, I heard, man. I, I used to have a job when I was managing uh, security force guys, and in in the beginning of the shift, if I heard people like, man, I heard. I'm like oh god, here we go. It's it's somebody gossiping again, um, and and it's it's destroying the outdoor industry, especially it is the rumors and the I heards and not using facts and data, uh, and and some of the facts are hard to swallow. I mean, the the national forest is being damaged more by white-tailed deer because of not enough herd management, more than global warming. Um, but yeah, we spend money and arguments on different things and want to argue different points. Uh, and now we have disease that's plaguing some of the whitetail population. So while we're dealing with COVID, whitetail deer are dealing with chronic wasting disease. Uh, yeah. And I know there's a lot of great organizations working behind it, but Matt, I think you would agree, it's still far behind where it needs to be. Yeah, And it's still continuing to spread further and further. Where was the focal point of that? Wasn't it like Virginia or West Virginia? Wisconsin. Was it Wisconsin? Mm-hmm. I remember there was that isolated area near um, the West Virginia – panhandle i guess you'd call it it kind of extended down into uh northern virginia and i believe in now parts of pennsylvania and yeah, i mean it's pretty much everywhere at this point but i mean we on our hunting property we've been dealing with with uh i was gonna say covid with uh cwd for let's see I'm th- so i mean at, at least 20 years oh wow yeah i i mean even when you listen to somebody i listen to some other hunting outdoor podcasts and they're you know they're talking about cwd and Wisconsin is still the sort of the base of operations. Um, our our zone that we hunted in Wisconsin has been a CWD zone, at least the better part of my life. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and and it sort of is what it is. Get your deer tested. Um, you know, it it sucks for that population, for the population of deer because it can be 
you know, real bad. Yeah. But, but I mean, it's still a problem. And, and these are problems that aren't being addressed, but, um, you know, the, I, social media could be so great if it was just, I don't want to say regulated. If people would kind of grow up, I guess is maybe the better word of saying it. Because I don't want it regulated. No, but I think it's the, a lot of people need to type what they want to say and then just delete it. I, you're not going to win the hearts and minds by yelling at people. It, it's just like real life. Like if you do something I don't agree with and I go, you're an effing idiot, you're not going to be receptive to that. It's the same thing on social media. Well, blah, 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 virology and, you know, town all this crap. And you look at their page and it's like, oh, I'm a staff member at fast food restaurant. Right. You have no credibility. And, and you have to build reputation and credibility before you can – people are going to take you serious. Unfortunately, like you said, the keyboard warriors are doing a good job <laughs> at, at keeping things messed up. But for the outdoor space – um, it's super critical. I've, I've spent several days outdoors. You've spent several days outdoors. Nick, you're slacking this fall. Yeah, I am. What's up, man? Man, just super busy. I know you love your day job, so you're tied up all the time. So Yeah, it's pretty bad. Well, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's holiday season, so yeah. I have to... Mm, yeah. I wish I had more time. Thanks for, you know, picking on me. Oh, we haven't started. Well, this is the beginning of the beginning. <laughs> does, is it, he thinks that. Yeah, he does. <laughs> oh, come on. I <coughs> couldn't have made it more obvious. No, no. You you definitely uh, what 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 does Wednesday fall on? Fifteenth, fourteenth of next month? I don't know. I'm looking. Thirteenth. January 13th, Nick. No, because we took one week off. Hey, come on. That's st- uh uh-uh. uh. The one we're gone? You know what? You know what? No, we're gone the 20th. Because we'll be off the 20th. So we're either going to have to do Nick's roast on the 13th or the 27th. That can't be right. 27th. Wednesday. Yeah, the 27th. 13th or 27th. Which day, which day would you like to roast, Nick? Mm. This is going to tell gonna, a lot about you. You know, I I actually appreciate you giving me the option of me choosing my roast day. It's because it's irrelevant. Oh. <laughs> so you're letting me on to... But I could also be telling you to pick so we do it the opposite of what you select. Is that right? not anticipate. Wow. Yeah, you know what? You're going to do what you're going to do anyway. It's the element so. of surprise. <laughs> I want you to at least feel like you're in control. Uh, you're doing a pretty good job about it so far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Kudos to y'all. Yeah. You know what we haven't done? Um, you know, we, we decided to kind of take it easy this week. And, uh, man, my email's blowing up tonight. Um, we want to kind of take it easy this week. It's the holiday season. We're between Christmas and New Year's. Uh, you know, even trying to bring guests in this time of year is always hard. Everybody wants to spend time with family. A lot of things are shut down. There's no groups of 10 or more people. I get all that. Uh, but one, one thing we haven't done in a long time, <laughs> you know what else I haven't done? Was load the comments on Facebook. Uh, you can comment on here. We can read your comments. Well, that's weird. <laughs> Maybe we can't. I don't know. It's going to be one of them nights. I can just tell. I can't see the comments. Let me try to pull it up on my phone. Nope. I sure can't. I sure can't. Well, we put one up there. Let's see if it works. I don't know. I can't see comments. I don't know what's going on with Facebook tonight. I don't know. My phone is being used. Yeah. Neither. Tanea said neither. Oh, maybe she's talking about your thing. I don't know. It's just, it won't load comments. I just got one comment just now. This is weird. Did you say Tanea? Yeah. My fiance? I don't know another Tanea. Oh. Hey, sweetheart. Paige? Don't look at me like that. Hi. Uh, 
I did not know you were going to Hey, buddy. <laughs> Justin said comment check. I don't know why the comments just started. If you guys commented before, I can't see them. I don't know what is going on tonight. Yeah, we can see them there. I can see so, them there. Okay, anyway, so now that we got the comments working again, I have no idea what's going on with Facebook. I can't load crap on here. It doesn't right. matter. We it's going to be one of those nights. Yeah, so there might be a little lag when we see your comments. But anyways, one thing we haven't done is give away a Back to the Lodge shirt. Nope. In quite a long time. Yeah. It has been a while. Hmm. And last time we did a giveaway. I didn't do it. I'm looking at you. Yeah, it was bad. Matt was half naked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're seeing the comments now on yeah. here, so that's good enough. Oh, now no. we're just catching up. If anybody tuned in earlier on, see if you can see. Like I posted the, the website. If any, if there's comments on there before that, let us know. We do apologize for whatever reason. I can't load comments tonight. So, so how we can it. how we can do this giveaway? I don't know. It's gonna have to be through through comment. Now that we're seeing it, yeah. Well, assuming that we're seeing them all. Tanea said, no roast. My feelings will get hurt more than his. Oh, oh man. <sighs> Sweetheart, they don't care. <laughs> Jennifer <laughs> Phillips said, mine too. That's her mom. <laughs> it's sweet that they love you. <laughs> they really do. And we think highly of them, but we're not going to avoid this. No. Y'all get ready. <laughs> <laughs> you came to play with the big boys, man. You all <laughs> brace yourself for anything. But here's the thing: when this is over, it's over. You one of us. You know, I we go through 13 weeks of hell, <laughs> and then and then some. Here's here's what I want to see, and I had to do double. I want to see. You do one day a week. We do seven days a week for 13 weeks. Oh, I have a phone too. We've got boot camp, school promotions, frocking ceremonies. NCO hazing. Look. Am I okay. missing anything? <laughs> okay. Here's the thing. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay. I have a phone, too. Y'all have been slacking on y'all's part throughout the week. What now, yes, I only, I'm only here for one day a week. Yeah. But, <clears throat> come on. What are we slacking I'm on? I'm still in the same town. What are we slacking on? Okay, you said that you go through... What was it? Thirteen weeks of harassment every, every day. Yeah, right. I also I, I have a phone so that you could harass me every day, but it's you don't. It's not as much fun. I want yeah, to do it in no, person. No. I'm an I'm an in person guy. Yeah, it's fair. It's more loving. Uh, <laughs> I like seeing the tears fall. <laughs> All right. So for this giveaway, <laughs> I want I want to know what people are thankful for, and if you post what you're thankful for, we'll put their, that name in a hat. I like that idea. It's end of the year. We we close every show with that. I mean, you know, we ask, what are you thankful for? So put in the comments uh, what you're thankful for in the live. And uh, if you put down what you're thankful for, we're going to go ahead and enter you in this drawing. I'm going to go ahead and switch out the camera angles because I don't do this well. That one needs to come down a little bit. I've screwed everything up tonight. I can't load comments. The cameras aren't working. And that bottle has not gone down an inch. I'm just, just saying. We're throwing that out there. The American bourbon has not been touched. We are savoring that. Yes. How come you don't have a drink tonight? Well, I have some tobacco in my lip. Touche. All right. So what you think for? I can get the comments on my cell phone. So, Tarita is thankful for I. I guess she means her. Okay. Uh, Tanea does not want you roasted, bud. Tanea says she's thankful for Nick. Ugh. Oh, go roast. <laughs> I'm thankful for you too, sweetheart. Good save. <laughs> So, Tanea, you are entered. You know what? Even if you're friends and family, you're going to be entered tonight. How about that? We're going to enter yeah. Tanea for sure. Because, we, look, we're going to draw the name. We're going to do it live on camera. So, that's fair enough. We'll, we'll enter Tanea. 
but I swear to God, this lovey-dovey, mushy shit's got to stop. <laughs> at least, at least for one hour on Wednesday nights. <laughs> you know, I'll be honest with you. I think, uh, I think she's joining y'all in on the, not so much the roasting, but like embarrassing me. You know, I wasn't even gonna go there, but you brought it up. So that's a great idea. You're making this easier. Disregard for me. that guy. <laughs> <laughs> making this easier for me for sure i am thankful for freedom of speech in our great country god you know what i'm gonna enter that but i wish it was a hundred percent true because obviously there's so much censorship anymore it's not even funny um but all things considered yes we still have freedom of speech especially in other countries i've been where you can you can be in prison just for speaking about something you're not supposed to uh thailand's actually a great example of that I think Iran just uh, about a month ago they executed execution. that. Uh, yeah. what was he a wrestler, MMA fighter, or whatever? He was really, uh, really, really good, but he attended a protest, mm-hmm. something like that. And yeah. they were made, they made an example out of him. They Francisca sent him to death. Francisca Sherlitic says, "Thank you, thankful for not catching COVID." Justin says, "I am thankful for my amazing family and having a network of amazing guys and gals that made 2020 bearable." I'm glad we made it. Bearable, Justin. He was talking about everybody. Wow. Balls. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know, Justin Sherlitic is our one of our post producers on the show. Uh, that helps with a lot of the distributions. When you're listening to this on iHeartMedia or Apple Podcasts or Spotify or Google or any, that's Justin. Sure is. Justin yeah. gets the file from Nick. Nick does all the cleaning up of it yep. and, and makes yep. it pretty um, um, because you can't make our faces pretty, but our voices sound better. And uh, I can do that. I can do that much. <laughs> Nick Nick gets it to Justin and <laughs> hands off the ball, and Justin throws it across the goal line. So yep. So it, it takes teamwork to make this dream work. That's for sure. Um, and also, too, it's the, it is the end of the year. It's our last episode of 2020. Thank God. Um, but I also want to thank people that that have helped push us and motivate us through this. Um, that we're thankful for. Uh, first and foremost is IC Tech because that's been a vehicle for us to be on this platform and have this studio and do the things we're doing. Uh, we don't get paid to do this show. This, this is what we do on our own free time and we enjoy doing it. Uh, also want to uh, give recognition to Mossy Oak because if it wasn't for Mossy Oak, this, this would have never even started. This was a conversation that took place with their media group last spring yep. and was pushed over to our other sponsor, Higdon Outdoors. And Higdon had moved it over to a potential TV show that we were working on. And COVID kind of put the damper and the brakes on that RV trip. Yep. <laughs> 30 days in a mobile home with you. Dear Lord, we'd get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> There's, there would have been great video footage. Like oh, yeah. The, 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 the outtakes and yeah. stuff. Yeah, that would have been great. Uh, but then it turned into a radio show. And we met Nick. No. And Nick's been on this journey with us, and we, we want to thank America Bourbon for, number one, the great bourbon that they make. And uh, it's actually pretty good. We had this at the uh, 4th of July concert with Drake White. I want to say we had two bottles. There wasn't anything left even before the concert started. <laughs> uh, and I didn't drink much. I think I had one drink. Just to try it, it was pretty good. But let the guys have it, and uh, then we met uh, Scooter Brown, yep. Scott, who's on the show three, four weeks ago. Three, been been a few now. Yeah, um, that that was a fun time. If you want to hear his new single, it's not even released yet. He did it here on the show. Yeah, yeah. and he even did the extended release ending that he didn't do at the Grand Ole Opry. Yep. This is the only platform you can hear it. So if you want to go back to the Scooter Brown episode, I think it was three weeks ago. Um, if you don't want to hear our ugly mugs, fast forward about two thirds of the way in, yeah. and uh, you can check out his new single. It's it's a lot of fun. If you don't like uh, where country music's going, you're really gonna get a kick out of it, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, anybody else? So if you're just tuning in on the Facebook, uh, I can't even see how many people are on. I guess I can, but that's just friends because it's on my phone. Uh, if you comment what you're thankful for, we're gonna enter you in a drawing uh, for a T-shirt. And we're going to give those out towards the end of the episode. So that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Do you have a t-shirt? I do. That's right. You just never wear it. Well, I mean, it's kind of cold outside. Okay. You know, not everybody has 
long john material to wear up underneath their back to the lodge t-shirt. I said long john material. You can't put it over flannel? Yeah, I would. Oh, wait, it's not week 26 yet. <laughs> Let, let's slow down. Look. Jeff Fuller. Mm. Oh, look at that. Jeff Fuller, thankful for my family and community that allows us help with kids and their families in need. Jeff runs a foundation um, in memory of his daughter, uh, and he takes even disabled veterans and yep. folks out hunting as well. Uh, a lot of respect to Jeff, and thank you for tuning to the show. Uh, man, what, what you do is, is always impressive to us, and we're always glad to support. Justin said, re freedom of speech just commented late. Oh, he commented again. French and Australian ex-Muslim advocate Zara Kay was arrested for blasphemy. Oh, yeah. That was the While in her the home country one. of Tanzania. Yep. Yeah. I'm thankful we have moved past blasphemy laws in most of the civilized world. We must continue to fight to keep speech free. Correct. Danny Cruz What's says, up, Danny? Yo. Yo, Danny. Danny was one of the ones when we first got our tumblers in. I used to work with Danny, and Danny was one of the first ones to buy one of our tumblers. Mm-hmm. That's cool. You're st- still sporting that tumbler, Danny. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, go ahead and get her. So how many name- you got? Everybody's name, Matt. Yep, so far. Uh, I got see. five. Five so far. Oh, that was that was Tanaeus and no roast. Okay, so we got. Uh, I'm just glad that one, 2020 two, three, is almost over. Four, five. You ain't kidding. <sighs> you know, I'm not projecting 2021 to be a whole lot better. No, and anybody that goes, man, I'm so glad the year's over. 21's gonna be awesome. Nothing changes when the clock strikes midnight. It's still going to be the same crap we're dealing with, but let's just try to have a positive attitude about it. Um, you know, take care of others, say positive things, encourage others to, to do good, follow their dreams, especially. Uh, life will be much better for everybody. Uh, there's just so much division and animosity. You know, take a break, take a fast. Uh, you know, turn off social media only Thursday through Tuesday. So that way you can catch our show on Wednesday. <laughs> um, but even if you want to turn it off, hey, you can still catch us on podcast. Just go ahead and subscribe. Speaking of podcast subscriptions, we are still maxed out with five star reviews. I don't know how the hell we did it. But if you gave us a five star review or you're giving us a five star review from the bottom of our heart, thank you. Also, there's something wrong with you. I wouldn't have said that, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> but no, end of the day, like, you know, Matt and I have been asked several times, like, man, you know, you guys have a great show. What are you doing? It's, it's the same answer. We don't know what the hell we're doing. We're, we're just doing our thing, you know, and uh, of course, technology sucks, and I just lost the Facebook live feed again. <sighs> oh, there we go. We're back. No idea what happened. Um, uh, Okay, now it's loading. But no, like, we're seriously grateful. Um, we don't. This this was just us being us, Matt. Matt and I have a lot of fun. We do a lot of things behind the scenes that we don't always get pictures or videos of. And that's going to be starting back up in the spring. Um, I don't know. We just, I think maybe maybe it's the veteran thing. Like, we just pick on each other all the time. I don't know. Like, I used to have short jokes every episode. I don't even have any anymore. I gave up. You also realize that they don't bother me. I'm it's not a, trying to make them bother you. It's always more fun when it hurts somebody. <clears throat> yeah, but I'm, I'm more of an ass. I don't do it to bother you. you. I do it to entertain me. you. <laughs> I'll hurt your little feelings in a couple weeks, Nick. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the funny part is. What's that? Is that it's hilarious to me that y'all think that it actually hurts my feelings. That's hilarious. I don't think it did. If I thought it did, I wouldn't be doing it. Because we love you. But, oh, oh, but I would a crock of bull crap. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to go there? <laughs> be nice. <laughs> Nick, you're bored? Having a rough night? Where can you where can you come at any time? Yeah. Without judgment. Uh, okay. Bring your wow. guitar. Wow. And we'll sit in the living room. Yeah. Hash it out. Play some chords. Well, you'll play chords. I'll just screw up my guitar. You'll try to play chords. Try to play chords. Yeah. But I'm getting better at it. Have you been practicing? Yeah. Every other day. At least for 20 minutes. Nice. Mm-hmm. For those of you that don't know, Patrick has been practicing his guitar skills that I have taught him 
really? You had to put that out? That's not something I wanted to put out until I was at least progressing well. Okay. Well, okay. Look, well, there at, is at this n- rate, it's going to be a long time. Okay. So okay. I'm- <laughs> okay. Look, there's no evidence that you have any guitar skills. <laughs> okay. That's true. So what are you worried about? <laughs> no, I meant literally, there, even if they heard, there's no evidence. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> well, that's either because you suck at guitar or I'm an awful teacher. Ooh, that could go either way. It really could. I have a guitar sitting in my office that I still don't play. (laughs) Look. I brought it up here because I thought that I would, just when I take a break from work, that I'd just pick it up because I'm here more than I'm home. Mm -hmm. I just don't. Stand by. Is it just uh, one of the things where where you don't think about it? Oh, I see it. I got it. In such a position that when I move my chair, I hit the case. Okay. It's but you just never you just never get it out. No, because I hit that point again where I'm just stuck again. I'm just stuck. I know I can keep going through chord progressions, and I know I can keep working scales. I know I can do that, but I'm just stuck. Well, have you ever just, uh, I don't want to say quit trying to learn, but as far as like where you're at now, there is evidence Remember that part? <laughs> Dude, that sounded good. I told you I've been practicing. And then I think you'll recognize the next one. Okay. That's one of my songs. <laughs> yeah. Sure is. Anyways. That would be one surprise when I can actually play your music. Look, man. Back I'll, in front of you. I'll be honest. I'm not trying to, like, you know, put butterflies in your stomach or anything like that, Maybe. but oh, I am super proud. It's because it's your handiwork. <laughs> it Look, is. It's your okay. handiwork. It okay. really is. Look, I'm going to get serious for just a second. Okay. If you're somebody that... I- Wait. When are you not serious? That's true. If you're trying to genuinely <laughs> learn... A talent, or try to get into something. You always got to begin somewhere. Yeah. So, you could either be one of those that just pick it up like it's no big deal, or you might have to have some practice, a lot of practice. (laughs) But either way it goes, I'm definitely a lot of practice. Either way it goes. No question there. Either way it goes. If somebody came to me and said, "Hey, man, I'd love to learn how to play guitar. Can you can you at least give me the basics?" Yeah, I will do whatever it takes. I will. I just got to get a guitar that the strings work. <laughs> Music is my life. I know that's a cliche thing to say. Well, it better be after the ink you just got. Well, it is. I messaged them. You did. They read my message. Okay. Which one? The one you messaged his guy? No, the shop. Oh. Oh. The shop yeah, itself. I wouldn't do that either. So message the guy. Yeah. I'm yeah, just I trying would. to make a, a console well, appointment. Right, my, yeah. my wife just has been talking to him now. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, why can't we give him a shout out? He's just, he's awesome work. Let's make sure he takes my call first. Uh, he will. <laughs> so Bruce Tat down in. Uh, Absolutely. Down, down in Jackson. Anyways, he, uh, Hope actually reached out to him. Two weeks ago. Okay. And with some ideas. And the, on, the only thing, and Nick, you know this, is he is such a sought-after artist that mm-hmm. yeah, it's just going to be a ways in the future. It, look. I think Hope's looking at about a six-month time frame He right is now. a very popular artist in this area. Six months? Yes. Ooh. I waited three for mine. Mm. Well. And. Make some but, but look, man, it's, it's worth the wait. I mean, he is oh, a great no. I'm, artist. I'm 100% for it. The only other artist that I've had ain't anywhere on my body was in Hawaii. Mm. Uh, I ain't going back there. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, the plane ticket costs more than me. <laughs> and I've gotten a tattoo in every single place that I've lived for longer than 30 days. If That's I, not saying Really? Much. If I unpacked my suitcase and I was there for 30 got days, some ink I got a tattoo there. Nice. Yeah. Well, but yeah, he's, he's an incredible artist and it's so worth the wait. Is yours healed up? For the most part. 
Hmm. It's been what two it, weeks now? It would have been if you were to listen to me. You know what, Matt? You'd have been done after four <laughs> days, Nick. Matt's tattoos are cheaper. There's less surface area. Ha! It's a little dry. Hmm. But uh, maybe you should use what I told you. You didn't keep it lubed. You know? Do you have some on you? If you would have texted me. I don't want to even know what the hell you two are talking about. Vitamin E oil. It's oh, all you yeah. need. I thought that was kind That's of sense. all you need. Stop paying money on this other stuff. Vitamin Jeez. E oil. What was the, what's the scent-free lotions we use in the military for tattoos? Tattoo goo? No, it was the cheap stuff. Tattoo goo is more expensive. Vaseline? No. no. I don't use anything as petroleum-based. It, it wasn't. Vitamin E oil. It was That's a lotion use. with no fragrance, no... The, the only thing I've used in the last 15 years is vitamin E oil. Fragrance free lotion. That's it. Just yeah. I I know I'd see if I recognized it, I'd see it if I recognized it or I'd recognize it if I seen it. But that's what I used on my back and it stayed well. So like, is it brandless? No, it's a popular brand. Oh okay. okay. Like you can pick it up at a Walmart. But anyways, I did that with with the oil and I I had almost no fade to mine whatsoever. Uh, but then again, it's also my back, so it doesn't get a lot of sunlight like your arm will this summer. Yeah, my arms are full color, and mm-hmm. they're the newest one on there is nine years old. So my issue is, let me see your arm again, Nick, your right arm. Tight sleeves. Yeah. No, I've seen enough. I'm fuzzier than both of you. That's a problem. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> you are. So, not when you shave. I'm not going to do it every day afterwards. No, I won't either. Do you shave your arms? No. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I do before a tattoo. Well, I, some people do after they, like, if he they, shaves, get, if they got, like, a leg tattoo or something, you he, know. He does shave his legs. No, I don't. <laughs> I should. Because they're a problem. <laughs> a problem for who? They get caught in my boot. Like, I'll just be walking, all of a sudden I'll rip one out. And my leg hair, like, 13 inches long. Do you not wear socks? Yeah. But they go through. Straight out. Maybe we, get somebody, <laughs> maybe we can get somebody to braid it. <laughs> All right. So check it out. There, we only got a, 10 minutes left in the show. Uh, if you're just tuning in, you can comment on Facebook because obviously you're, you're watching it live on Facebook. You can comment live what you're grateful for. We're going to be giving away a T-shirt. We'll put your name in a hat. Don't even don't even do that till the end. So, start, start ripping these apart. No, you don't even need to mess with that right now. So I got I got. Scissors. I get real fast. What do I need scissors for? I'm a grown right. man. He's going to slap me. Mark my words, he's going to slap me. I'll be counting on it. Nah, I promise you he will. Why? Because I didn't use your scissors? They're special scissors. Look at that. No scissors needed. I'm waiting. I was going to make a joke. I don't know this person, so I don't want to make a joke. I don't either. Oh, boy. Anyways. So, yeah, I think we're going to be doing some changes. Uh, not, I, why did I say I think? We are going to be just doing some changes. Nick's going to be upgrading the lighting in this studio. I am. Uh, next week. So we're going to have, I guess, better lighting. Yeah. Will we be brighter? I wouldn't say necessarily brighter, but more... Um, the lighting would be more even, I guess. If that makes any sense. Uh, okay. It may not make sense to you now, but once you see it, it's going to make all the difference. I believe you. Yeah. You make our voices sound magical <laughs> after whatever you do after the show. Well, I just want you to know something that uh, lighting is not going to improve your looks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just You're going to have to pay 10 cents to cross the bridge when you come in here because I'm going to be standing there charging tolls, dude. More people are just going to understand how ugly we are. Exactly. Like what they say about some, like a, some dumb person that can speak many languages. It just I'm, means that more people can understand that he's an idiot. What I'm more worried about, like people that are listening to this on podcast aren't going to get it unless they're watching the video, but like when I lean down to check the tablet and the, all I can see on the monitor is the shine off the top of my head and we put more lights on. It's just going to make it extra okay, shiny. So with the type of lighting that I'm going to be putting in here, that's going to get rid of that, actually. You're a genius. I mean, look, I okay. like my hair, you see, lack thereof, but I don't like the Mr. Clean Sheen. Okay, you see how, like, 
on there like it's it's very direct right very yeah. very bright very I mean, yeah, hardcore right on us right what people don't know though is like we're blinded yeah, yeah by I, those lights in front okay. of us we the, have very the big type of lights. the type of lighting i'm going to be putting in here is not going to be blinding it's going to be even spread and it's going to get rid of that hard shine on that bald head that rhymed <laughs> <laughs> What part rhymed? When I said it's going to be even spread and it's going to get rid of that shine on oh, that bald head. head. Exactly. Poet didn't this know This is it. a PG-13 show. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> All right. A couple more people just tuned in. If you're just tuning in, comment in the comments what you're thankful for. We're going to be giving away a Back to the Lodge t-shirt tonight. Uh, we haven't done this in months. Yeah. It's been and, a while. You know, it's, it's Christmas, New Year's, kind of in that giving spirit. Maybe we can talk Derek and Nick. Oh, no, we can't do giveaways of liquor. I already asked. It's against the law. <laughs> 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 so we can give away a bottle of American bourbon, but no, can't do it. Sorry. I'm learning all kinds of things about logistics this year that never was an issue before COVID. I'm. Oh, Justin, you can kiss my ass. Oh. He said, wax on, wax off, Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> Justin's got a lot of hair. Justin just got disqualified. <laughs> and I think his invoice is due. So. <laughs> Hi, Justin. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. So, all right. So, check it out. How many people do we got, Matt? Five. Five people. Who's going to win... The shirt. Whatever name's drawn. Merry Christmas. Everybody that commented tonight Whoa. won a Back to the Lodge t-shirt. Whoa! That's why I said you didn't need to tear him up. He said curveball. So if you commented on here, let's see. I probably shouldn't have thrown them all because I don't have the names. I'll have to scroll back. All right, we got uh, Charita Stout, uh, Jeff Fuller, Justin Sherlitic. Uh, boom, 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 boom. I can't go back in comments now. Tanea Phillips. Ooh. There was another Sherlitic. That's Justin. Francisca. Yep, and Jeff Fuller. So, okay, so the five of you, um, just message us what size T-shirt you wear, and we will get those out on probably Monday because of the holiday weekend yeah. and the shipping and FedEx is closed on Friday and nobody's in the office. So yeah, Monday, they'll go out Monday. So message us your shirt size uh, for the five of you that said what you're thankful for, which were all great things. And uh, we will get a shirt in Cardell, Sean, or maybe Sean Cardell it's Sean, yeah. uh, said, I want to win. You got to tune in. <laughs> so Sean's my buddy in Clarksville that I was in a, in the army with. And he, uh, he now has a veteran owned, Painting company. Nice. Yep. Nice. Yep. So nice. if you if you need uh need your house painted or business, holler at my boy Sean. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. Well, if we have a great year, we might need him. Yeah. <laughs> we got a lot of paint that needs done. A lot of painting. We can't afford it because it's too much. He too already, much painting. He already knows about the project. I've sent him pictures. He told me what we need and how we should do it. And yeah. You need a bigger ladder. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. I thought you unplugged me. No. Mm -mm. Should have. <laughs> There's a lot of things I should have done that I didn't. Well, Nick, you've got at least two, maybe three weeks to sit and stew. I promise you, you're not going to want to miss this episode, guys. <sighs> Bring it on, is all I can say. Do we still have any of the pyrotechnics left? Okay. Please do we, not light me on we, fire. No, we got those ones we... Uh, I have the bigger ones. Procured in Texas. <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about those. Where are, are they here? I don't I don't have any at my house. They're in a box, aren't they? Cardboard? Yeah. I know there's one sitting on the shelf. <laughs> okay. All I can say is please just don't physically hurt me we'll try not please but we'll try not it's the I, best I, I can give you Nick. look look not to be like 
not to be real or anything, but I went through a lot of physical pain. We know. Two don't, years don't ago. Don't get serious. So, honestly. you know. You said, you said you're not always serious. Well, I'm not always. Do you think we would hurt you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, good. You should probably feel that way. <laughs> Anyways, live from West Tennessee, I'm Patrick. I'm still Matt. I'm Nick. And you're listening to Back to the Lodge. We'll see you next week, guys. Take care. Hey, everybody. Nick here from Back to the Lodge. Just want to let you know this episode was brought to you by Mossy Oak, Icy Tech USA, and Higdon Outdoors. Just want to give our sponsors a big thank you to everything that they've done for us. And, hey, if you want to catch us live each Wednesday night from 6 to 7, right here on our Facebook page, Back to the Lodge Podcast. You don't want to miss it. So until next time, we'll see you when we head back to the lodge.